hello everybody welcome back to another weekly vlog it's friday though so this is gonna be more like a weekend vlog but i just finished my work day we get summer fridays and by that it means i have to work at least three hours on friday so i worked a little bit more than that actually i think it's almost like 1 30 and i am going to go to staples i have to pick up some stuff that i ordered for work so i guess the work day is not really over because i'm gonna go do that and then it's right next to a mcdonald's so i think i'm just gonna get mcdonald's for lunch and probably eat it in my car while watching youtube because that sounds pretty great to me i want to show you my room though because in the last video that i posted i like briefly showed you my room and if you didn't watch that link up here in the corner because we moved and there's just there was a lot going on i haven't put up a video since april and anyways literally the day that i put up that video the and edited and everything the rug came so i didn't show you the rug but i'm so stubborn i tried to roll it out and like put it in my room on my own um which was a terrible idea because the bed is like in the middle of the room and 90 percent of the rug is like underneath my bed whatever ari ended up coming and helping me um and she i was like you can leave like i can take it from here and she was like no i need to see this through to the end like i want to see the rug so we um put that out together and it looks great and i love it and it makes my room feel so cozy i will put the link to the in the description of this video for the rug it is expensive it's like it was a stupid purchase honestly for something that i didn't know if i would really like love but i love it so much um the texture of it is not like one of those like super soft rugs like it feels like almost just like worn down and it's really nice because i feel like it'll be it's just easy to clean and it feels really clean I don't know i don't know if that makes sense but i'll show you what it looks like so here it is we have the rug and i believe i got one that was eight feet by ten feet so it comes up a little bit more on this side and i'm obsessed with it i just feel like it ties the whole room together and also these are my slippers that i'm obsessed with and i got from amazon but i need to go run my errands it's like the only thing left that i have to do today and last night um connor and i went and saw the new top gun movie and had dinner and it was so nice and yeah it was it was really fun the movie was so cheesy like we kept looking at each other being like oh my god like this is so cheesy but it was really really good honestly like it was it was still a good movie i had never seen the first one so yesterday before we went i started it but i didn't finish it and i obviously missed like one of the biggest plot points of what carries over into the second movie and i like looked at him like wait is this what happens um so i might finish that i might not who knows i I just like i kind of can't stand tom cruise and yeah i also should probably put some sunscreen on before i leave the house actually i didn't even wash my face today who am i literally who am i i forgot i was so tired this morning i only got up to go to the bathroom and then i ended up just while i was in there like brushing my teeth and putting in my contacts and then i literally got back into bed and fell asleep but i forgot to wash my face i like kind of don't even feel like it though because I feel like I'll just sweat it all off because it's hot out. But that's not good of me to go outside without sunscreen on. My face is totally red and dry. We love that for me. But I want to show you my outfit. Not that it's really anything special. But I'm obsessed with this like bodysuit from Maritzia. You've probably seen it like everywhere. It's so fucking comfortable. Like I'm obsessed. And this is just like an old t-shirt. But I wanted it to be big. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this bodysuit. It's so comfy, like just spaghetti straps and really just supportive. And yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Um, still have the gold jewelry on. These hoops are from Amazon. And they are kind of breaking, if I'm honest. 
they're not feeling super secure anymore um and all my rings are from Missouri I had two on this finger don't know where the other one went couldn't tell you I lost it at some point this week which stinks because I feel like the smaller ones were even more expensive than these ones that I have these are all also from Missouri but like for some reason those little ones were more expensive so hopefully it turns up that's kind of my motto is that it'll just turn up but I kind of fear that I vacuumed it I don't know I have to look through the vacuum when I throw when I empty it um and also my hair is really long like really a lot longer I was watching um a couple of vlogs ago when we called animal control which was so funny and I was watching that like holy shit my hair is so short but I missed my hair appointment that I was supposed to have in April because I had a really bad stomach bug and it was like the week of my birthday I was supposed to oh, was it the week of my birthday or it was the week before my birthday I think it was before Connor and I were gonna, oh no, but that was the week of my birthday when we went to Portland. I don't remember when it was, but it was some point in April. I had to miss my appointment because I was so violently ill with whatever that stomach bug was that was going around at the time that I missed my hair appointment. So I missed a color and I missed a cut and I kind of love the length. My gut is telling me to chop it before all my traveling this summer, which I talked about in last vlog, but I like I love having like super short hair for the summer but like now that I'm looking at it I'm like mm, I kind of like this length I feel like maybe I keep the length color it and then if I change my mind about the length I can always just go in for a cut because that's like not super time consuming as it would be to like do it do everything Okay, I need to stop rambling. I guess I really missed um, talking to the camera because I haven't done it in so long. But I am gonna go to Staples, pick up my order, and then McDonald's. We're gonna go to McDonald's and I will bring you with me, show you what I get, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm here at McDonald's. Ignore all of the shit in my back trunk because, or my back trunk, my back seat because um, that's just for moving and I haven't moved any of it yet. I will have to stop with the filming in a second because I shut my car off and I'm actually about to suffocate, but I will, oh boy, I will show you what I got there. Yum. I picked up my order from Staples and then I was FaceTiming Kia. I got a Diet Coke, medium fry, bam. I'm fucking sweating, but my car is going to be so loud if I put the air conditioning on. You guys probably won't even be able to hear me or it will just really piss me off when I'm editing. Oh my god. I got a 10-piece McNugget. Okay, I need to turn my car on because I'm actually suffocating. All right, here's hoping my new neighbors don't see me filming, but I'm back home. I My car reeks of fast food, but... I already ate everything. I FaceTimed Kia. I FaceTimed Victoria. I FaceTimed my mom. I FaceTimed Liz. And that's taken up the last few hours of my day and also um, pretty much all of my phone battery. So I need to charge my phone. But I'm headed to Leah's house. Ari is already there. We're gonna hang. I don't know what we're gonna get up to, but I washed my face finally for the first time today and put on a bunch of oil. The, um, Sunday Riley C no Sunday Riley not Luna mm, I don't remember the name of the oil but if I remember I'll put it down in the description but I'm gonna go there and I will um maybe catch up with you guys later on tonight haven't vlogged in public in a while so we'll see how it goes oh boy I've definitely looked better Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday. I am so tired. It's probably, I actually have no idea what time it is. Almost one. Oh, it's almost two. It's 1.45. No wonder why this place wasn't busy. I just um, came to Pavement Coffee House in Brighton, Massachusetts to pick up some breakfast. I had an awful morning 
I was just real. Is this person gonna park next to me? No. Well, that's good. I got an ice mocha. But anyways, I had a terrible morning. I just really was not feeling very well. So I've been awake since like 5.45 on a Saturday. <laughs> we love that for me. I got an everything bagel. And I need, I wanna go run an errand after this, so I'm gonna eat in my car. Plus, I just kinda like love eating in my car. I feel like you probably know that by now because that's all I ever do on these vlogs. But we have an everything bagel, which is, they're so good here. And they have really good cream cheese, which is such, a good um, find. Also, why does mine like low key have avocado on it? Ew. They must have just used the same knife. Um, but yeah, no, I had a terrible morning. I'm so tired. I went back to sleep from like eight to like noon. But I'm gonna take it easy the rest of the day, just kind of chill and that's pretty much it. I gotta catch up on Love Island. I have uh, maybe just one episode actually to watch and then tonight's episode is Unseen Bits so it's just like highlights of the weekend parts that you didn't get to see. But last night we went to Leah's which was great. Had dinner and walked to get ice cream. We like totally binged Love Island. We watched so many episodes. It was awesome. And tomorrow I have to wake up <laughs> at the literal crack of dawn to go watch my family do a half marathon and by my family i mean actually my mom was supposed to run it she's not running it anymore my dad my sister and my sister's boyfriend nick are all running it and it's fucking early it literally starts at 8 a.m <gasps> i texted my dad and he said that we need to be there by six so or we're leaving at six pray for me honestly maybe today was my training for getting up early tomorrow this is like bothering me that there's avocado on it but whatever all right i'm gonna listen to a podcast and i have to go to cvs pick up a prescription and that's about it i literally just want to crawl back into bed i'm so tired yay i honestly like cannot even discuss how stupid i am I have a headache, so I feel like I'm not thinking very clearly, but I, my food this morning was ready before I was expecting it to be. Like it said it was gonna take like 20 to 25 minutes. So honestly, like I thought I had time to take a shower, wash my face, like get ready. And it was only like eight minutes away from my house. So I was like, oh great. Like I'll have plenty of time for everything. Then, literally, as I was brushing my teeth this morning, it was like, oh, your order's ready. And I was like, shit, okay, well, I'm not going to wash my face. I'm not going to take a shower, but I will just go get this food, come back, and <laughs> then I will, like, get on with the rest of my day. No. I literally just <laughs> did two of the stupidest things. So I, you know, you saw me, got my breakfast, even though it was 2 o'clock, eight whatever then i said i was gonna go to cvs i had a prescription to pick up so i go to the cvs that's now closest to where we moved to because this morning when i was awake at like 6 a.m i ordered a prescription and had it sent to that cvs i swear to god i swear i did that but i don't think it matters i think it probably depends on where the pharmacist sends like i'm not the pharmacist where your provider sends it to so i go to that cvs you know i saunter around i collect some things that i would like to purchase so i have a whole haul from that cvs of things that i bought and then i go to the pharmacy they don't have my prescription so I'm like, oh, that's weird. Maybe it's not ready yet. But then the guy is taking like a long time to even find me in the system. So then I'm like, wait a minute. Is this at the other CVS, like the old one that I used to go to? So I look it up 
in my um, CVS app and yep it was sent to the different one so I'm like you know what don't worry about it sir it, I fucked up like it's actually at the other CVS so then I take my ass in the car and I drive myself back to the other CVS same thing I walk in oh my god someone just pulled up next to me I walk in I'm I'm collecting things I want to buy why because I don't know I literally just did the same thing at CVS I have a whole haul from this CVS I just went to I've got candy I've got actually a Father's Day cart I'll show you everything that I that I got um, I have a fucking poster board okay I really just went after it with everything that I needed I go up to the is this a trifold I literally do not need this. I wanted a sign for tomorrow for the race, and I got a fucking trifold. Like, for a presentation. I'm gonna have to cut it or something. That is so stupid of me. Anyways, I go up to the pharmacist at the CVS. My prescription's not ready. Of course it's not because I would have gotten a text if it was ready. And I never got that text. So I don't know what possessed me to even try to pick up this prescription. Not at one CVS, at two. And I bought all of this shit that I probably don't even need. So, that was really pretty much all I've done today. <laughs> and now <laughs> I have to go back here eventually <laughs> to pick up my prescription. I just, I can't. I actually just can't. And I really need it by like tomorrow. But I can't go tomorrow morning because we're leaving so early. So I will have to go tonight whenever it's open. You know what? I just, I can't. I really can't with myself. That is so annoying. But yeah, I'm going to go home. It's now 3 o'clock. And I'm going to try to do this poster. I'll show you guys what I end up doing and I'll show you everything I bought. It's a bit later. I have just been sitting here. I FaceTimed my mom, FaceTimed Liz, figured out the plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna drive up on my own at like 7.30 so I don't have to leave the house at 6 a.m., which is a blessing. We love that. I have a massive headache, but I need to make this poster and I want to show you guys what I got at CVS, even though it's literally not exciting at all. First things first, tampons. Also got, what I really wanted was these. These, if you haven't had them yet, they're delicious. Nerds gummy clusters. I've never seen them in this box. They're usually in a bag. So because I realized this will be less than what I normally would be buying, I also bought sweet tarts which I haven't had in so long and I figured that I could eat this while watching Love Island tonight of course I'm like literally opening it right now so it's like I'm also gonna have one right now and then I oh my god they smell so sugary I also never open things like the way that they're supposed to be open mmm oh my god Those are sweet. Okay. Mmm. I also got a Father's Day card for my dad. A little Hawaiian shirt, which is perfect. Because right now we're prepping for going to Hawaii. Which is great. But there was they were all out of like birthday cards. So Liz said she's going to get one of those. Because his birthday is this week on Wednesday. And then Father's Day is a week from tomorrow. Then I really, really, really wanted the Pixie Glow Tonic. And a part of me was like, gonna go to Ulta because there's one near me. And I just like, I need a glycolic acid because I haven't had one in a while. Like since we moved, I haven't repurchased the Pixie Glow Tonic. And I also ran out of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels, the like extra strength ones. I used the last one yesterday. So. I was at CVS and I was like, oh my God, they actually sell Pixie here. Let's see if I can find the Glow Tonic. And they didn't have the Glow Tonic, actually at either CVS that I went to. They were all out of it, but I did get this one. 
which is a vitamin C tonic with vitamin C and ferulic acid brightening toner. So we'll see. I mostly just really wanted a new toner and I wish this had like glycolic acid. I don't really know anything about ferulic acid, but I am going to go and grab my Caroline Hirons book called Skincare and look up ferulic acid in it and see what she has to say about it. But yeah, also this was like way too much money at CVS because it's at CVS and it wasn't like I was buying it from Ulta or something. So the only other thing I got was the Pixie Detoxify haha <laughs> caffeine and cucumber depuffing eye patches, which again, I didn't need this at all actually. But I wanted it and I saw it and I was like, you know what? I don't have eye patches. This might be a little nice thing to do. Also, maybe I'll take a bath tonight, put some eye patches on. That sounds great. I haven't had eye patches since I bought the uh, ones from Peter Thomas Roth. Those are so expensive. This actually wasn't expensive. A for eye um, patches and I think I get 30 pairs, which is literally the same amount that you would get in the Peter Thomas Roth ones, which were so expensive. This was only $25. This was normally would be 10, 10 or 15, I think maybe at um, Target or Ulta. Okay, I cannot open this. Um, but that was $19, which is kind of a ripoff, I think, because it's literally only f like four ounces of liquid. But okay, I can't actually open this. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we can do here. But yeah, I'm going to make a poster. And the only person that I told that I was going to do that to is my mom, but she's the only one who's not running tomorrow because she's sick, so she won't be there. But I really didn't want to have to use my teeth, but here we are. Oh, this is supposed to peel off separately. I don't quite know. I'm going to have to figure that out upstairs but it comes with a little um, spoon to peel off the eye patches. And then we have my trifold poster board, which I'm gonna, I think, cut off the ends. My mom was like, are you making a poster for each of them? I was like, no, I literally don't have enough hands for that, so I'm just gonna do one <laughs> for all of them. And then we have some markers, which I probably have markers here somewhere, but with moving, I, I kind of like don't really know where everything is, so. That was my excuse for buying new markers. So I'm gonna make this and I'm feeling very like confused because I woke up and like started my day so late after like going back to sleep that it's literally 4.30 and I feel like it's like one o'clock. So yeah, I need to go to bed early tonight. Catch up maybe on some vlogs and definitely catch up on Love Island. And now that I have my VPN, I have been watching one of my favorite shows that is only in the UK, which you may have heard me talk about before, but it's called Gogglebox. <laughs> and everyone thinks I'm crazy for liking this show, but it is basically like watching people watch and react to TV, which I love because I love watching like reaction videos on YouTube, like Whitney Port watching the hills and the city. Like I love that. I thought that was so fun. And now I am watching that show on British Netflix because I have my VPN for Love Island and we don't have that show here. And it's just great like TV to have on in the background. It's just, it's great. So I'm probably gonna watch some of that. I need to find some Advil in this house and take it because I have such a bad headache. And probably drink some water because I actually haven't had any today. And then later on, I have a HelloFresh meal to cook. So I'll probably make that with you and then just take you along on tomorrow. But I will be vlogging um, in public with people who I barely know. So <laughs> that will be interesting, but 
I do want to like document them running the half marathon because it is really cool. And Liz has never run a half marathon before and neither has Nick and I'm just so excited for them. I'm like nervous for them because it's like just a lot, but I'm excited. I think it's gonna be really, really cool. So that will be um, the rest of the weekend. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. I gotta, I'll got i show you my poster after I make it. I mean, I only have one, so here's hoping that I don't fuck it up somehow, but we shall see. My sign is done. Also, how much do we just love this broken hair? I need to do something about this. I was thinking about it today. I'm wondering like if I should start taking like hair sup like growing supplements or something. Like, there's no reason why this hair should be so broken. It's only on this side, not on this side. And, like, I literally, I barely straighten my hair. And if I do, I really straighten, like, the ends mostly. I finished my sign. And I've just been eating sweet tarts and listening to the Love Island Morning After podcast, which is the best if you don't listen highly recommend it's it's really good they like recap everything the day after here's my sign yay go dad liz nick and bob it is 5 45 right now i really should be thinking about eating dinner but i ate lunch slash breakfast at like two I'm not really hungry right now. So we shall see about that. I kind of want to self tan. Ari is like inspiring me because I put fake tan on her last night and I like kind of want to do that. Although I'm like kind of scared that it's not gonna come out good. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Hey peeps. I have taken a bath. I did my little eye patches. I washed my face. I've got a lot of that um, Sunday Riley facial oil on. I think it's Juno. Yeah, it's Juno because Luna is the one with retinol that is not the one that I have. Uh, I love that. The Juno oil. It's so nice. So I'm going to start making dinner. It's like 730. It's kind of late for dinner but um we're gonna be making this from hello fresh this is the golden chicken schnitzel with roasted potatoes broccoli and a creamy honey dijon dipper which sounds great honestly it sounds pretty simple i think it's really just putting broccoli and potatoes into the oven and then i need to fry the chicken which i'm not really looking forward to <laughs> Because that seems messy, but that's okay. I think that's pretty much like the only part that takes some time. So we're going to do that and I will show you what it looks like when it's done. I hope it looks like this. Who knows? These are like my two favorite sides I could ever have. So I'm excited about this. And then I'm going to watch last night's Love Island and tonight unseen bits and that sounds like perfection to me i think there's a recoupling in last night's episode and i can't wait um and then i'm gonna try to go to bed early try i don't think i'll have a hard time because i'm exhausted <laughs> and i still have a headache but i'm about to chug this whole thing because i feel like i have not had enough water today at all and I'm listening to Camp, the band. We saw the Lumineers a couple weekends ago, or maybe that was last weekend? Yeah, it was last weekend. And we, they opened for the Lumineers and Connor loves that band, Camp, but I had never really known any of their music. And so I feel like we've been listening to it, listening to them like kind of frequently, like in the car. And we missed most of their opener for the concert because we got there a little bit late but yeah i really like them they're a very good like chill evening vibe like it's i'm gonna have that on while i'm cooking i think 
and normally i listen to like a podcast like i always say to you guys i listen to podcasts to just like fill empty space when i'm alone even if i'm like just washing my face or getting ready in the morning like i always have something on and i think like there's so many pros and cons to that i talked a little bit about it in a recent podcast episode like i love it it's like very comforting to me but at the other hand like it makes it so that i'm not like alone with my thoughts and like sometimes i'm like consciously doing that because like either i'm really stressed about something or something's making me anxious and i'm just trying to like completely distract myself but sometimes it's just habit for me to go and just like put something on my phone whether that's like a podcast or like a tv show that i have on like i was saying goggle box to just like have on in the background but I'm trying to, in the evening, when I'm like slowing down, to give myself the time to have nothing to listen to. Like I try not to listen to anything when I'm in the shower and I always have something when I'm driving, but it just like, I'm not thinking and like processing things throughout the day. And then it makes it so that when I'm going to sleep, I have the hardest time falling asleep because my mind is just racing and thinking all of the things that I did not think throughout the day. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I definitely noticed that that's like a real thing for me. And right now, like I'm fine. Like I'm, I don't really feel super anxious about anything, but I did last week or no, at the beginning of this past week um, that just happened and I had the hardest time falling asleep at night. It was awful and it really was just because I was really anxious and I distracted myself all day long. And you can't really do that when you're going to sleep. So anyways, that was my extremely long tangent. Um, and I'm gonna listen to camp while I cook. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have something on. I'm also sporting my Kirkland Signature sweatshirt, which is pretty much the most comfortable sweatshirt ever. I will say I don't love the like cut of it. It's just like, I don't know, it's not, It's not, I like big boxy sweatshirts. Um, but I have a grout fit on right now. I've got gray sweatpants on, I've got this, and I'm super comfy. So I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm going to make my dinner. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, well, I attempted to fry chicken and they're both raw. So, this was a fail. <laughs> I'm not eating either one of them. They don't look appetizing. I definitely did not pound them thin enough. And at this point, like, I just don't care. I'm gonna eat my potatoes and my broccoli with my honey mustard sauce. And we're gonna call that my dinner. I also, I have a bra on. I just didn't wanna get oil all over my sweatshirt. So, was great <laughs> frying is always so stressful and like I've made a mess in here now and I just I have to clean it all up I'm irritated but I do have food to eat so I'm going to eat that good morning everybody it's Sunday it's race day I'm leaving my house like 30 minutes later than expected, but I don't think it's a problem. I am not gonna be able to see them start, but I will be able to see them finish, which is fine. I wasn't gonna see them start anyways if I got there at 8.30, but anyways, I'm leaving now. It's eight o'clock and I need to grab a coffee on the way, but I don't know which way this is gonna take me. My, I have like an hour drive, um, and then I will be there. So, I mean, which fucking way is this taking me, you know? Um, you know, I don't know. It's like, should I just stop at a Dunkin's when I see it? No, I'll just go to the one that's closest to me, probably. Um, yeah, I slept terribly because I was just anticipating waking up early. And I have my sign. I didn't forget it. And I, I've looked better, actually, I think. <laughs> um, 
I don't know why I packed a sweatshirt. It's literally 80 degrees outside and I was like, you know, it's gonna be chilly in the morning. Nope, it's not chilly at all, actually. Um, I'm excited to see the runners. I'm excited to see them finish and hopefully more than that, but I don't really know the course very well. <gasps> okay. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna order my coffee and drive my butt to Newburyport. Yeah, that's him. Everybody, it's so much later and look oh my god oh <gasps> that is so much worse than I thought it was oh my god that's so bad yeah so I'm back <laughs> from the race and I obviously got really really sunburnt which is not good I do not condone not wearing sunscreen. I'm an idiot who thought it was gonna be chilly because I'm gonna be near the water, you know, it's gonna be morning. It was literally 85 degrees and I didn't have sunscreen to put on my shoulders. I did have sunscreen all over my face, so we're good. We're not sunburnt, SPF 40. Shout out Super Goop. Um, but this is unacceptable. Oh my god, I need to be punished actually. Oh my. This is the first time I'm like actually seeing it. This is so, that's so bad. It obviously hurts so bad and I'm ashamed of myself. I need to be better about sun protection and I should have had sunscreen. I should always have sunscreen in my car. I'm so annoyed. So yeah, I'm back. I'm trying to sign off the vlog, but I can't stop talking. <laughs> it's like mid afternoon now and it was so fun. They did an incredible job running and it was just a really good day. So we went and had lunch afterwards and then I drove back and caught up with Connor on the phone on my way back, which was really nice. And now we have a couple of hours of relaxed time and then Ari and I are going to get our bridesmaid dresses altered. Um, I don't really think mine needs to be really altered, um, but I just want to try it on with them and see like what their thoughts are at the at the place where we bought them. So we're doing that tonight. Our appointment's not till 6 and 6.30, so we have a while, but I'm exhausted. I barely slept, I feel like, at all this weekend. And this is getting really fucking old for me, actually. Um, yeah, I feel like I barely slept at all this weekend and I need to rest. So I'm gonna shower and then I'm probably gonna try to edit this and put it up for you soon. But thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for another weekly vlog. No idea what's going on this week, but uh, you know, we shall see what we get up to. And thumbs up for the video down below <laughs> and you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and check out the podcast um at everything with erin on instagram and no at everything with erin pod on instagram and everything with erin podcast where we listen to podcasts yes every thursday so you better tune in and listen <laughs> okay i'm gonna go i'll see you guys soon have a great week bye